I have been investigating the practice of peyotism with the Oklahoma Native Americans. Hearing about their beliefs and legal struggles has made me understand them more. Maybe peyote can help people heal, but to be able to come down to a conclusion, I must experience it myself. Okay, I am participating in the purification ceremony. All participants entering the sweat lodge are fanned by the cedar smoke with eagle feathers to cleanse the human soul before the final stage of the ceremony. I'm still nervous about entering the lodge. It's incredibly hot and claustrophobic. And once you enter, you cannot exit until the ceremony is over. But I'm curious to see if I'll experience the purification that the Oklahoma speak of. We're chasing away that smell of the humans so that them good spirits can smell only good in you. Grandfather, Tumkasila, we thank you for this beautiful day to come before you, to be here in this sacred space, in this sacred way. We are thankful for all the family and all the brothers and sisters and all these beautiful little ones that have come here today to join us in this connection with creators. We come to you to, to offer our heart to you and ask you to come into our hearts and to bless our lives. Hunky, hey, it's a good day to die. It's an even better day to live forever. Yeah. Oh. Immediately upon exit of the sweat lodge, we were taken to the stream, which represents a mother's blood and a rebirth. I am reborn. I didn't have pants on, I would ask you to duck yourself. What? You got pants on, so there you go. Oh, oh. fire, up by the fire. Let you drag that good and warmed up. spent about 20 minutes in there. It's the most intense experience I've ever had. I don't know how many degrees it, it was in there, but it was very, very hot. I felt my entire body going numb, and I, I didn't think I was going to be able to tolerate it. And um, it was a matter of surviving those, those 20 minutes um, out of respect, out of love, and out of a curiosity to find something new. I was scared, my heart was racing, I'm a doctor, so I was thinking about all the potential things that the heat could do to me. My heart rate, my blood pressure, everything. Um, I held on to Jared, who gave me strength. There was no way, there's no way that you can go in there if you're part of my world, part of the world that it's not used to this. There's no way that you can go in there if you don't trust whoever it's taking you there. So I trusted. Uh, they held my hand and told me that it was gonna be okay. Um, and it was. Before I came here, peyote to me was a schedule one drug, an illicit substance, something that people would take to get high, such as LSD. But after spending two days here, going through the ritual, actually spending more than 20 minutes in a sweat lodge, experiencing that myself, I can tell you one thing. These people are not taking peyote to get high. This is their sacrament, their religion. This is what they believe in. I don't know if it's a placebo, but if it works, if it works for them, it heals. That, my friends, that's what it's all about. <laughs> 